guys, Jennifer here. Today I want to show you two types of starting your chunky knit blanket, which we call casting on and knitting. Um, two types of ways because each way is going to determine the overall appearance of your blanket. So the first way, oh, disclaimer, as I have said in other past videos, I am really terrible at knitting according to my husband. Um, so I am not some master knitter, <laughs> but I do like crafting. So anyway, here we go. The first way, you're gonna make your slip knot. The way you do that is take your yarn over, fold it over again, and then pull this through. And there's your slip knot. And that's a good length left right there, about 10 inches. So to start your chain, you take your hand and you pull through, okay? And you wanna keep consistently the same size. So I try to do about two and a half inches. Take your hand, pull through. So we're gonna do five across for me to show you. So one, two, three, four, five, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna start going up as if we we're going up our blanket. Take your last loop here, pull your yarn through, okay. And then we're gonna go in the first, so there's a loop here, there's a loop here and then there's a middle and what we're gonna do is go through the top of each one one two three and then four and that equals five because we went up over here now the type of edging that this creates, it does create a braid, but the braid kind of lays down on the bottom the whole time. So if you want a definite top and a definite bottom to your blanket, then going through the top loop would be ideal for you. And okay guys, so this is the top. This is where we're gonna cast off when we finish our blankets, the way we cast off. And this is our cast on from our first method. And as you can see, you have a definite top and a definite bottom on this blanket. So once again, the bottom where we cast on and put it through that top hole, and then where we cast off, which I'll show you in a different video, but um, so you have a top and a bottom on your blanket. Okay, the second way gives you a much more finished look in my opinion because there's a, a braid on the top and the bottom and <clears throat> I'm definitely going to show you a picture of that too. And so basically we have our five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five still. And we're going to continue to go up. So go through the one and go up, pull it over here. Okay. All right. Now, this is where it might get a little bit tricky. So, go ahead and get everything. So I told you before, there's a definite top hole, a bottom hole, and then there is a middle strand. And we are going to be going through the middle strands. This can be a little bit more difficult because it's harder to pull through, but it's definitely worth it because it creates a very, very beautiful edging. So we're gonna take our yarn, just like before, just pull it through, just like that. Okay, take our yarn, hard to see, I know. Make sure we got it here. Take our yarn and pull it through. And if it's like really, really difficult for you to see, then space your beginning chain out by about three inches and that'll make it easier for you. Okay, here's the middle part, I think. <laughs> Pull it through. And then this last one is going to be much more difficult because it was our starting part here. It's right here. Nope. Let's 
see. Here it is. It's much more difficult to find, but we got it. Okay, and then pull it through, okay? Now, what this does, one, two, three, four, five, what this does is it creates the braid, it, it makes the braid stand up a little bit more, um, which you can see on this blanket that I'm putting up here. This blanket, there is a braid on the top and the bottom. I'll get closer here in just a second, but so you can see the whole thing. So, There's that side. And then there's that side. And it's very uniform. The top and the bottom look extremely similar, if not the same. Whereas on this blanket, yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you want more crafting tips. Um, leave in the comment section which cast on method you like the most and why. And I will see you guys next week.